Hi, I'm John Mayfield, the real estate tech guy with another Global Real Estate School podcast. Welcome to the podcast. My name is John Mayfield, the real estate tech guy, and this is episode 160. Well, as always, I want to bring you good content that will help you pass the real estate exam on the very first attempt. Do not forget that I have a YouTube channel. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel. We are doing live streaming on a weekly basis. Try to cover timely topics that will help you with your real estate school studies. And generally, most of the time, I'm covering national content. If I do cover something state-specific, I will always make sure and put that in the show notes. But uh, check us out on YouTube. If you just go to YouTube and search for Global Real Estate School, you can find our YouTube channel. Be sure and subscribe and hit the notification icon, and you will be notified every time we add a new um, YouTube live streaming session. And do not forget, we're on Instagram, Facebook, and we have a brand new program. It's great for any state. It's called My Real Estate Exam Coach. It, it is short, concise coaching videos to help you pass the real estate exam. And in fact, I'm going to create a coaching video on this topic that we are going to talk about today. Well, I had a student recently ask me a couple of questions. I don't know if they saw this on the real estate exam or not, but it's interesting that they ask me about these two topics. So let's talk about them. One, the question was, um, a real estate agent is working with a buyer, has a buyer's agency agreement, and they spot a for sale by owner. Is it permissible for the agent to uh, show the for sale by owner to the buyers. Well, generally, it would be permissible, but you probably need to get a written authorization from the seller to show the property. And of course, with that written authorization, you would need to disclose who you are representing. Now, some of this can get state-specific, so you really want to make sure you understand your state laws. However, if I was reading this question and it was a national question, my presumption would be, hey, it, it's absolutely fine to show a for sale by owner a property. You still need to get a written authorization in order to show that property. I had a closing just this week that was a for sale by owner. And uh, that's what I did. I, I was representing the buyer, but still had a written authorization to show the property. The buyer paid my fee. I represented the buyer. But in order to show the for sale by owner, most states will require you to still have some type of authorization from the seller and at least disclosing to the seller who you are representing in the transaction and who's paying you, whether it's a seller or the buyer. The second question is two uh, individuals. We could call one a buyer and one a seller. They meet each other, decide they want to sell. The seller wants to sell their house to the buyer. There's no real estate agent involved. And they would like to go to a real estate broker and just ask the broker, hey, would you complete the paperwork for us? Can a broker do that? Well, there and charge a fee. That, that was part of the question the person asked me. And the, and the answer is absolutely. You can. Again, you're going to need to make sure that you have all parties sign some type of uh, disclosure. In Missouri, we would you would probably work as a transactional broker. And if you charge a fee, everybody needs to know who's paying the fee. And everyone needs to know if you're representing someone, who you are representing. And if you are a neutral party, that you are neutral. You know, the bottom line is when you read these types of questions, as long as you are disclosing to everyone, you want to look for those choices. Hey, it, it would be okay provided I get written permission 
or I get written permission and everyone knows who's paying me the commission and who I'm representing, just read the questions very carefully. But the key is you're going to have to make sure you disclose and everyone agrees who you're representing and who's paying you. So as long as all of those pieces to the puzzle are in place, then hey, that's going to be your best choice, okay? So hopefully that'll help you if you see those types of questions on your real estate exam. Um, just read them carefully, read the choices carefully, and remember, it's not a problem as long as you're getting it in writing, disclosing, and everybody knows who's paying who and who's representing whom, okay? Hopefully that um, will help you out. Well, again, do not forget MyRealEstateExamCoach.com. I'm telling you what, you'll love it. It will help you pass the real estate exam. If you have not purchased it, you got to go over there right now. Check it out. You can also find it at GlobalRealEstateSchool.com. Be sure and subscribe to this podcast and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd love to have you as a subscriber and always appreciate your kind love and feedback. So thanks so much for listening. Go out, make it a great day. Thank you for listening to the podcast for Global Real Estate School. I'm John Mayfield, the real estate tech guy. Go out and make it a great day.